Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you from DeadPit.com. We have yet another review. This is a movie that we have discussed numerous times throughout the years on the show, on these videos here, on the podcast. Over and over again we've reviewed this movie. And we'll continue to review it because we're coming up on the 50th anniversary of this film. And finally it's taken 50 years for the deluxe edition of this thing. This and I don't know how you top this. I really don't. And we're going to talk about it today. Second Sight Films released this box set a few weeks ago. I finally got my copy in to take a look at and review for you guys. And in a nutshell, I'm blown away with this thing. We're going to talk about the movie real quick. Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974. We're coming up on the 50th anniversary of this thing. One of the best horror films of all time. Probably the most infamous horror film of all time. And Second Sight has brought this fat case of goodness to us all over the world. 4Ks will play in any 4K player. There's no region lock on the 4Ks, so you're good. Second Sight does a fantastic job on everything that they do. This is definitely no exception. We're diving into it, and we're going to do, you know, I'm not going to do a separate video on this. So I want to combine it in this one. We're going to talk about both versions that recently came out. This is a steelbook edition that we reviewed in detail uh, a couple of months ago, and this brand new one that just came out from Second Sight. As far as the movie itself, set in the summer of 1973, a group of friends are going to visit an old home place in southern Texas, and their idyllic summer afternoon turn into a nightmare. They come across the Sawyer family, Leatherface, the hitchhiker, Grandpa, Drayton Sawyer. Mm. Well, they gave him a name in the second movie. Yeah, the, the cook, if you will. And probably one of the early examples of Final Girl was Marilyn Burns in this. Uh, she is the sole survivor, or well, we think so, towards the end of the movie. Leatherface, the debut of legendary horror icon, is in this film. Directed by Toby Hooper, produced by Hooper and Kim Hinkle. The movie has went on to receive numerous releases over the years. Special edition DVD, Laserdisc, Blu-ray, and now 4K. This is actually the third 4K release so far for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So the movie, what else can you say? I mean, it's one of the best of all time. Uh, the grittiness of this has almost like a documentary feel. Shot in 16 millimeter. I think it was like super 16 millimeter and blew, blown up to 35 millimeter. So it's not not got a gigantic budget on it or anything and usually a 16 millimeter movie you shouldn't expect a whole lot of it from 4k <laughs> usually you shouldn't first thing is first on the 4k the thing that everybody is curious about is the transfer on this thing now dark sky films the edition that they came out with back in february that looked fantastic. It was the best that the movie had ever looked. And at the time, I was thinking, well, how can you look at this? I mean, this is amazing. How can you improve upon this? Well, I was just like in awe the, when I started playing this movie and looking at this restoration. Second Sight did a separate restoration on this, or they went further on this transfer than Dark Sky did with their release. The sharpness in this is the big difference. Now the colors and everything look pretty close. Uh, the brightness levels are a little bit more realistic in this one. The clarity of the picture is a big difference in this. The detail in this and everything, it is unreal. If you're a fan of this movie 
you want a reference quality version of this movie to watch, this is it. This is the best this movie has ever looked. I know some people want a degraded version, uh, which I think that's a, that's almost where they have to go if they do another release, do like a grindhouse grime edition of Texas Chainsaw. Because, man, like, okay, I'm saying this in early May of 2023, but I can't see this movie ever looking any better than, than this edition here. Amazing, outstanding job. Still has a grain level on there. It's like you're watching it the day it came out in the movie theater. In fact, I'm willing to bet that this looks better than the movie did when it came out theatrically in 1974. Most of the special features on this are the same from the Dark Sky Edition. What we're going to do on this, because there's a ton of special features, I want to do a shot of the back of the 4K, a close-up shot, so you guys can see all of the special features that's on this. We're talking multiple commentaries. Uh, it's three different discs as well. So you have all the special features on the 4K disc, and then there's two Blu-rays that have the movie and the special features on them as well. So it's a three-disc set, and the features are multiple commentaries. There is an exclusive commentary to this edition by Amanda Reyes and Bill Ackerman. The feature-length commentary, which was made by Second Sight Films, it's on both versions. The Legacy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There is an exclusive one here, Beyond the Mask, Alexander Heller Nicholas on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Multiple documentaries. Again, to see everything that's on this, including all the commentaries, all that good stuff, the easiest way for us to do that, or it would take up the entire review, is show you guys the back. We're going to get into the package of this here in a second. Also wanted to put over that they did put a new Dolby Atmos track on this. There is the original mono audio included as well for purists out there. So Second Sight Films, man, they are among my top tier of boutique Blu-ray labels. One of the best examples is this set here. This is a beautiful set. Rigid hard box. Lots of bonus materials on there. We're going to get into the set itself. Show you guys what you get with this deluxe limited edition. Now it's important to note that there is a single 4K edition release of this. That as time goes by, that one's going to be the easier one to find. This limited edition version, I don't know how many of these they made, but it's getting harder and harder to find. So we're going to get into the package of this limited edition version and let you guys know, hey, is this worth checking out uh, to get the upgraded goodies and stuff like that? Or am I good with just the disc? I know some people, if you have limited shelf space, which... I do. I'm always interchanging stuff back there in the rack of doom. First thing to look at is ones that have not opened these art cards, which Second Sight Films commissioned some new artwork for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's old Papaw. This an iconic shot right there. And Sally, I do believe if you order directly from Second Sight Films, included is a separate set of these cards exclusive to that website. So if you dig these sort of things, I mean, this is something you could get professionally framed up and be a really cool display piece. But those are included in all of the limited edition box sets. Something else Second Sight does that nobody else really does, and they've done this with a couple of their releases, but I don't know, this may be the first one I've seen in a hardback. I think maybe Dawn of the Dead had the hardback book. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, man, this hardback book here, it's like a 190-page book that you know, has all kinds of goodies in it. People... Something like this is really cool to kind of have out and look at 
while you are reviewing the movie and watching it. So a lot of the artwork and stuff from the cards is included inside this as well. This is a beautiful, I mean, this is like a book you would buy in a store, literally. I mean, maybe a little bit scaled down. If you have it double scale, it's like a $30 book at least uh, in, in stores. I think there's lots of film essays in this, talks about the making of the movie, you know, the legend behind the movie and everything else. And something that I miss dearly on releases here in the United States is these digi books, man. This is a lost art because companies back 10, 15 years ago, there were a lot of like digi pack, digi book releases. Not so much anymore. Second Sight does these a bit and they do a bang up job with these. This is a beautiful edition as well. Some more of that artwork there. Check the back of it out. Look at that now. How cool is that? And like I said, this is three discs. All the content is on the 4K. They have two Blu-rays that have, you know, the movie, all the extra features and everything, but it's spread across two Blu-rays. So essentially with the three discs, all of this content is on the 4K in addition to the Blu-rays. So that is it on Second Sight's limited edition set. This one gets the highest recommendation from me. I was just amazed at how good they made this movie look. Now, there are aspects of this that I, I mean, I didn't grow up with. It. This is the original UK artwork, which a lot of people over in the UK, you know, they kind of have a nostalgia for or whatever. I'm not the biggest fan of this artwork. But that's really the only gripe with this thing. Most of the bonus materials are on both of these editions. But the transfer on the second side, to me, it's a massive improvement over the 4K steelbook from Dark Sky Films. The best version of the two to get, in my opinion, is this box set. It's not even close. You know, like I said, if you're on a bit of a budget, you may want to get just the standard second sight. 4k release which is out as well but as far as video quality content the presentation all of the bonus materials the hardback book the cards and everything this thing is amazing second sight films does a fantastic job with everything that they do everything that i've ever seen them do it's just so you know they are the pinnacle when it comes to the boutique blu-ray stuff and 4k stuff now Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K Limited Edition is out now from Second Side Films. Definitely recommend checking it out and be sure to check us out. We're over at deadpit.com. Give us a thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime. That dead pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do it. I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Hey, folks. It's Oak Early Jaws. I might be banned off of YouTube, but that doesn't mean I can't get you some great shirts over at shop.deadpit.com. First, we got Steve Benningfield pose goes against our community standards and nudity or sexual activity. We got the Deadpit.com shirt. We got our board. We got L Lord. We got Tales from the Dark Side. We got Dead Pit. And we got a Princess Puffin shirt, boss. It doesn't get any fucking better. Brandon had the accident. Oh. But these shirts just get better and better, boss. You gotta go over to shop.deadpit.com and pick you up some shirts right fucking now. What are you fucking waiting for? Do it. Do it now, because old Curly Jaw said so. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. 
Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only one dollar.